rabbit is literally, I kid you not, like five steps away from me. I'll leave her be. What is up guys? Good morning. It is a noisy, noisy morning here on the LNP farm. Geese, rabbits, birds, everything. But anyway, so we've got a lot going on here today. Handful of things we got to get done and so I'm just going to make a vlog out of it. First thing we got to get done is get this truck loaded up because we today are going to be selling the first gen and the Can-Am 450 Outlander. Also today, we should be signing out a loan form to buy the 2019 fifth gen 3500 Limited. So stay tuned guys, it's gonna be a busy day. I'm not sure what all I'm gonna get on film because I gotta just knock out a lot of things, but um, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And by the way, do not forget, go over to the merch store, link is in the description, and spend $15 or more and you are entered to win this truck in approximately a little bit over two weeks. So do not forget that, enter to win that truck. Every $15 more you spend gets you another entry to win. You could be taking home the keys to that pickup truck May 13th. So thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Let's get on with the video. A lot of you probably don't remember. On the other hand, a lot of you might. I bought this four-wheeler brand new. It's a 2018 Can-Am Outlander 450. I bought it brand new to do a four-wheeler giveaway. But the option was four-wheeler or $5,000 cash. The winner chose the cash, therefore I was stuck with the four-wheeler. I didn't mind it at the time. In fact, I thought, oh, that's pretty cool. I get to keep it and ride it and do all this fun stuff. And I just don't use it. As fun as it sounds, it's a brand new machine with 10 hours on it. My rule of thumb is if you can't justify keeping it and it's just sitting there, I'd rather sell it and use that money to invest it back into my business than have dead money sitting in a barn. So think of it however you guys like, but uh, that's my view on it and we're going to ship it on out of here to somebody else who will use it. Like I said, it's got 10 hours on it, which is just a break in, so it's still basically brand new. I just got to wash it off, otherwise it's never even seen more than a little bit of a mud puddle. It only got dirty because I was driving on the edge of one of our fields after it rained and so it flipped a little bit of mud up, but it's actually super, super, super clean. First gen just got all washed up and uh, the ATV buyer's coming here, but first gen just got all shined up and that's selling today. And then the ATV is right here and I just got this all washed up and I'm selling this today. So what should we do? Should we buy a super cheap or mud vehicle, put a winch on it, big tires and bog it in the river and make some mudding content and a new project truck? Or what should we do with the funds from selling these vehicles? $8,000 budget. Comment it down below. So we are actually in the car on our way to buy what I'm gonna call the Cummins mud truck. And now what we're doing is the goal with this truck, and I'll be very straightforward with you guys. We are going to be buying one of the cheapest Cummins that we can find within a matter of like the three days we've been looking. And we found one and it's a first gen. It's a 93, it's an automatic, but he said transmission shifts good. There's nothing weird or funky about it. Everything shifts as it should, it works good. Everything mechanically is super sound. Drips a little bit of oil from the front timing cover, but not a rear main leak. Overall, the truck drives and runs great. He said everything on every axle has been replaced. All the, the gears and the seals and the axle shafts, like everything's been replaced because he was gonna do a full restoration. And he said after he got done with all the drivetrain stuff, for reliability in terms of like starting from down there. He's like, after I got done with that, I realized I do not have the time necessary to finish this kind of a truck. So um, anyway, so that's what we're doing is we're going to look at this truck and hopefully everything's good. It's It should be pretty easy. We're just looking for really anything that runs and drives good. And we're gonna turn it into a mud truck and we'll get through some of the plans here in a little bit actually. I'll just save that for another video. But let's just get this truck. I did sell the Can-Am as you saw in this video. Hopefully you saw in this video. I sold the Can-Am so that's what we're using is that money to get this truck. And we're going to be buying it, doing some fun, cool, freaking exciting stuff with it. And we're going to use it as a mudder and make some really cool, funny videos. So stay tuned guys 
and can't wait to show you guys this truck. Do we have something <laughs> for you? And um, you guys will see it. She's a little rough. She's a little rough. But she is mechanically sound. So we've got the two-wheel drive first gen. And boom. We got the big brother. So you're probably asking why the heck did you buy another first gen that looks exactly like your other first gen if you're trying to get rid of that first gen in the first place. Well, let me tell you why. These are going to be completely two different extremes, and I'll tell you what I mean by that. This truck right here is a million mile two-wheel drive truck. Now, the difference with this truck and this truck behind me over here, this truck is in really darn good condition overall. There's a little tiny little spot of rust behind the fenders on each side, the little fender covers. There's two little spots of rust on the rocker and that's it. The other side's completely clean. And uh, the truck's really not in that bad of shape. The interior is a lot cleaner on this truck right here. Um, the frame is a lot cleaner on this truck. The engine bay is a lot cleaner on this truck. Um, the paint's a lot better on this truck. It just needs all that nasty, gooey stuff all buffed off and it actually probably wouldn't be that bad. I just never got around to it. But anyway, so the purpose of this truck was to be a little street truck, a little two-wheel drive, daily driver, fun, play truck, right? I'm getting kind of bored with this project and it's really cool. It's really awesome. It's going to make somebody a really good truck. I got a guy that said he's going to come up and buy this thing off me for my asking price and so he's going to be up here any day now. He just works schedule. He lives four hours away. He's going to pick it up and trailer it back. But so this truck's pretty much sold and gone. However, I want something different and exciting but also cheap but something that's going to be a durable play truck for a totally different situation. Now this truck, if you touch a mud puddle, it will probably get stuck if you're out in a field. This truck, completely different situation. I'm going to go down the background of this truck and why I bought it. And we're not going to go through all the details, but I'm just going to show you around the truck and kind of show you, I'm going to tell you what I paid for it. And then also just kind of like the condition of it. So this truck has 238,000 miles on it. It's a four wheel drive, of course. That's why it's so much bigger. And I got it for $4,000 even. That's what I paid for the truck. And before anybody jumps up and they go, oh my gosh, you got ripped off. For the record, you have to understand, I buy trucks and I work on trucks and I do fun, cool stuff and exciting stuff with trucks for business. That's how I make my money. That's how I promote my brand and my clothing line and my videos and stuff like that. That's what I do. So I got to keep things interesting. And so what I pay for a truck isn't necessarily the important thing because I'm not buying it to flip it and try to make money because if I did that you can't make money buying a truck like this sinking a crap ton of money into it and make much really anything back unless you own a body shop and you can pay people to redo something like this really cheap but in terms of the bed the bed's pretty much shot the bed is in really bad condition underneath if you look at the bed but the frame is what's good frame is solid if you look all the way down, I crawled around, I looked by the fuel tank, I looked under the cross members, I looked around the front end, everything is just super, super solid. Even under the fuel tank there, under that little plastic strip, it's really not that bad. The bad thing about this truck is the bed, which is shot, you can see the rust underneath the whole, I mean, it's probably gone behind here. Um, this rust is all eating up there, the inside of the bed is just totally shot. I mean, it's all rusty, beat up, dented up. If you look in here, you can see the highway beneath you when you're cruising down the road. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. If you push down right there, you can see the daylight. And uh, that's that's why I bought this truck. You guys might be thinking, why on earth would you specifically look for a rusted out pile of truck? Well, the thing is, this truck is not going to be a truck that I'm buying to do like a resto on or restore it make it look super cool and a type of deal that's not what this truck is for and you guys aren't going to talk me out of it this time last time i bought this first gen i literally bought it to kill the thing and then you guys are like no 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 don't touch it don't touch it it's a super nice truck you got to make it look cool and all stuff even though it's a two-wheel drive which in the end i guess i'm glad i did because it really is a nice truck and it just still does run pretty darn good for the truck that it is just overall nice truck but this truck is going to be the cummins mud truck that's what we're going to call it and i'll show you what i mean by that in the upcoming videos and you guys will understand completely and it's going to be a lot of fun now when i say that keep in mind you have to trust the process you have to understand what we're doing here and by the way the floorboard is just as rusted on the other side but now when you look at the truck from down here 
you understand that the rust is all on the rockers. If you look at this crease and this line right here, it's all on this line all the way front and back. All the rust is below that line, except for on the front fender over here, it's actually on the fender pretty bad. Um, but other than that, it's, it's actually all rocker rust. And when you open the doors, the doors really aren't that bad underneath. They're actually pretty clean for the most part compared to the rest of the truck. The frame is actually in really good shape. Like I said, um, front and rear bumpers aren't that bad. I mean, they're a little bit rusty, but they're not bad. Frame is scaly, but it's not rotted. And now we're going to go through all the build plans on this truck and kind of the whole concept and purpose behind that. And I'll actually tell you exactly what I plan on doing with this thing because it's not going to be what, like anything we've done before. So you guys have to understand that it's going to be a completely different concept of this truck, but it runs and drives really good. Now the guy did say when he had this truck, he bought it with the intention of completely restoring it, cab swap and everything, because he, he's like, the frame's actually really good. It doesn't leak any oil, doesn't leave any drips underneath of it. He said that he redid like axle seals and joints and, dr and axle shafts and brakes and brake lines and fuel lines, all, like all kinds of crazy stuff, all kinds of stuff that have to do with the drivetrain of the truck and the way it'll drive down the road and stop and operate and all that stuff. He's like, I redid all that stuff and I realized I do not have time for a project. So he's like, I gotta sell the thing. I've only owned it six months. But he's like, after I got that far into it, I realized this is gonna be a lot more than I thought and a lot more money and a lot more time. He's like, I just had to get out of it while I still could. Um, so that's what he did. But anyway, so, in terms of mechanically sound, this truck is freaking as sound as it gets. I mean, it rides really nice. It drives really good. I had this thing going 75 down the highway yesterday, and it, it cruises really nice. I mean, you guys would be really surprised. I do like the seats in it. I just don't like that you can uh, rock the seat around because the floorboard's so rusted. That is a new project, and you guys are going to understand a lot more very soon. Just stay tuned. Trust the process. It's going to be really cool fun truck do not miss out the next videos because it's going to get really good but if you guys have not done so yet don't forget to enter to win this truck there are only 17 days left to enter to win this truck by the time you see this video 17 days left to enter to win this beautiful 2002 24 valve cummins i don't know if the truck's unlocked it might not be but we're gonna find out oh it is that's not good but anyways uh, beautiful leather interior seats are in really good shape um, the carpet underneath these mats really good shape four-wheel drive of course nothing else six-speed manual dash is in really good shape it's pro gauges ARP head studs fast lift pump um, it's got the suicide folding doors it's a rust-free truck beautiful beautiful pickup truck it's got a five inch zone off-road lift 35 1350s in the front and 35 1250s in the rear if you guys want to enter to win this truck go down into the link in the description pick out a couple of your favorite items for example a hat gets you a couple entries the hoodies get you a couple entries actually a few entries you get about three entries for hoodies stuff like that i mean every 15 dollars is how it's based is another entry to win but just go pick a couple of your favorite items add them to the cart checkout and you're automatically entered to win this beautiful rust free Cummins, 142,000 miles. Keep that in mind, it's a beautiful, beautiful truck and it could be yours in 17 days. Keep that in mind. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.